Hello, Cem Tezcan here. I'm recording this video to show you the device I managed to uh, assemble lately, which is a Commodore 64 emulated electronic component or assembly. And you see that I 3D printed a case to make it easily usable anywhere. So you see that we have button screen and it doesn't work with a cable since it's portable. And you see that we have a stand that makes it stay like this and also it can be attached backwards to make it more leaned backwards and also this can be variated anyway. So let me show you the components I used inside. You see that we have a power bank charger unit which two of 18650 batteries attached to it. So this makes uh, this device to run uh, totally in 3 hours and 55 minutes with uh, using the controller constantly with auto fire function uh, which is a very good timing for this kind of screens because uh, the screen part uh, makes it very power consuming you see that the screen is attached to a Raspberry Pi and power bank is con uh, directly connected to the Raspberry Pi and also there is an audio amplifier unit which is connected to a uh, speaker and also you the brown part here is the um, gamepad circuit which I uh, detached from a very cheap uh, gamepad so it was easy to use it as a controller instead of creating a new one so we have an on off switch here and also this tiny button makes the power bank awake once you press it because when it's go to sleep mode uh, even you open the on off switch it won't power up the device so you need to click it uh, one time so let's see the device and how it works let me see if I drop down the exposure a little bit I think I can't do it from here so let's Oh yes, I can do it here. Let me switch it to auto. Alright. So you see that we have an on-off button. But we need to adjust the exposure a little bit more. Let me see. To show you better because we have a backlight here. Alright better so we have an on off switch here so we have the controller buttons Raspberry Pi ports to use it on HDMI screens or using the analog audio video output here this USB port uses the power banks USB output to charge your other devices as a as a by using this as a power bank so we have an SD card input and these ports makes the power bank unit to charge the batteries so let me open the device but as I mentioned we need to awake the power bank unit first and I'm opening it and it boots to the good old Commodore 64 home screen so you see that we have an emulator 
in this device which is a BMC 64 emulator and also we have the emulator menus to load or use any med medium to load games or programs and also there are snapshots that you can load directly like this very bright screen to show you here let me switch and also let me enable the CRT look to make it more dimmed see that gameplay experience is very good like this let me switch to another game the best thing about this device is it shows the scrolling correctly in 50 FPS so you see that scrolling is very smooth on the screen right let me waste all my lives to show you the title scrolling animation You see that the main thing about this emulator it runs in uh, nearly you see that 50 Hz because you can adjust the refresh rate manually of this kind of screens which makes this device precious because on the modern handheld devices like the Nintendo Switch or PS Vita or any other even if you have a Commodore 64 emulator installed to that devices they run the games or intros in interpolated to 60 fps but you see that the european pal uh, refresh rate of the tvs while we are using the commodore 64 devices were 50 hertz so uh, they will they are not showing this scrolling smoothly because they will interpolate them to 60 fps so this means you can only see the correct smooth scrolling uh, of, an, of a Commodore 64 uh, in an emulated way is just using this device because the other ones will not show the correct smooth scrolling let me show you another intro and also you need to watch this video in 50 FPS to see the smooth scrolling because uh, I'm recording this video in uh, 50 FPS and also my screen reports as 50 as well so once you are watching this video in YouTube or somewhere you need to set the refresh rate of your monitor to 50 Hertz uh, believe me it will be very hard with the modern screens they are not supporting 50 FPS but if you have an older screen it will be easier for you to set it to 50 Hertz and you will see that scrolling will be correctly perfect as I see with my own eye here So here is another one you see that we have a parallax scrolling it's super smooth 
in 50 fps Right. I hope you like this video and this design. I will be sharing the, how I created actually the making of process uh, in my blog. You will find the link there. I hope you like it. So, thanks for watching as well. Goodbye.